Assalamu alaikum and welcome to current tutorials. Okay, in this section we will discuss the writing task 1 of IELTS academic. In writing task 1, you have to write 150 words of a graph, chart or a table and a process. And you are advised to uh, spend 20 minutes on this because you also have to write an essay of 250 words. So writing task 1 can be a line graph like fantasy and IELTS exports in from 1960 to 2000 shown here like as a bar chart it can be a pie chart a process diagram or a map can be the example of a line graph is this this uh, this is a uh, this line graph shows the amount of oil exported from fantasy and the period of 1960 to 2000. So, this will be an introduction. It is clear that there was an overall rise in export of this country, although they begin to fall towards the end of this period. Here, it said that overall, there is a rise because at the start of the period it was like as 10 million barrels and at the end of the period it was 80 million barrels so overall there was a there was a rise in the exports but at the end of the period it tends to decline looking in the detail it can be observed that from 1960 to 1970 there was a slight rise in the exports from 1960 to 1970 there was a slight rise and it was 10 million barrel to 20 million barrels from 10 million barrels to 20 million barrels from 1970 to 1980 there was a moderate increase there was a moderate increase to 45 million barrels and then a dramatic rise to 100 million barrels in 1990 then uh, there was then there was a dramatic rise from 19, 1980 to 1990 it rose from 45 to 100 so a dramatic rise to 100 million barrels in 1990 from 1990 to 2000 however the export fell moderately to 8 million barrels per year so the exports felt moderately to 8 million so fell down moderately to 80 million barrels per year nevertheless in conclusion we say in 2000 the exports were still 8 times higher than they were at the start of the periods so you, here you can see at the start of the period it was 8 million barrels and here it's 80 million barrels so we can say nevertheless in in 2000 the exports were still 8 times higher than the at the start of the period A bar chart example. This is uh, exports from fantasy and oil, rubber, tea, cotton, and coffee. Oil is 35%, tea is 20%, cotton and paper are uh, 15%. So coffee is like 10% and rubber is 5%. So let's start with the introduction this bar chart shows the various products which were exported from Fantasia in 2005 as a percentage of total export from that country so these are given in percentage of total exports of that country so here it's shown that the overall exports are shown in the form of percentage over percentage of total export from that country okay it is clear that oil is by far most important of six product 
you know here you can check the oil is 35 percent so in overview we can say it is clear that oil is the most important amongst the six product uh, these six, six product one two three in order uh, we have not named everyone we simply counted three and three six product so let's go into the detail looking in looking in closer the detail at that chart it can be observed that oil accounts for 7 35 percent of all exports in 2005 the oil accounts 35 percent of all export in 2005 this is higher this is 15 percent higher then the next most important export which is the T. This is 15% higher than the T. T is 20%. So instead of writing 20% I write I wrote it's 15% higher. It's the next one is 15%. We can say the T is 15% lower than the oil and, and in other words say we uh, have said this is 15% higher than the next most important export which is the T. At 20% cotton and paper were equally important. So instead of at 20% the cotton and uh, sorry the cotton and paper were equally important to the Fantasian economy in 2005. You know, cotton is 15 and um, paper is also 15. So these were equally important to the economy and they made up the total, uh, they made up 13% of total figure. 15 and 15, 30% of the total figure. While the coffee and rubber were relatively mineral contributors to the export figure at 10% and 5% respectively. So instead of uh, instead of explaining them uh, um, apart from each other, we have explained it all together. Here the coffee is 15% and rubber is 5%. Fantasia is the clearly lies more heavily on oil resources and agriculture. So that's all for the bar chart. The same figure has been represented here in the form of pie chart. These two figures are same. One is in the bar chart and other is in a pie chart. So all things will remain same. There can be a possibility of two pie charts. I will explain this one in another video. Uh, because it will take too much time. I will make a separate video on uh, two pie charts. Like as two bar charts. Uh, it was uh, it's about the energy production of France of gas, petroleum, nuclear, other and core resources. This one is about the divorce rates in Sweden and uh, uh, Finland. I'll make another video on this separately. Uh, this is two pie charts of uh, Turkey's production of agriculture, construction, trade union. I will explain this one in separate videos in order to reduce the length of this one. Line graphs here are butter and spreads are shown here in the form of grams. How to explain table maps diagram it's a diagram of cement production and concrete production bar chart. I promise I will make all the uh, a different uh, single video on each every one of these. Okay, let's move ahead. So structure, you should uh, write an introduction, overview, significant figure one and significant figure two. You are not supposed to write a conclusion in academic part 1. Introduction can be a paraphrasing of words and interview, uh, 
the other paragraph is review overall you can say summary significant figure 1 and 2 and key points treat the question very carefully and you must write at least 150 words paraphrase things make sure that you write an overview you must have to write an overview make a logical fashion of your ideas you do not have to write a conclusion be careful with the data you should spend 20 minutes it should be clear and fluent it should make logical sequence um, it should have accurate and appropriate words grammar should be perfect one and uh, not you must have to uh, construct things well and present clearly understandable do not repeat things Use the conjunctions and but or both either neither in a proper way. Do not misuse any of them or uh, use them incorrectly. Use the clock connectors properly. Some common connective pronouns uh, punctuations are like as comma between the items of the list like as I need peace butter, sugar and egg to show pause of a long, long strength we also use comma they did not want to eat before I arrived but I was an hour late when you want to add an extra information Lucy who told you about before that I was coming before tag a question you do love me don't you column to introduce a list of a list or a quotation in the sentence like as you need the following column paint brushes water cloths but in us uh, you can say uh, you can follow the greetings like mr customer mr amir mr Adnan. use the semicolon properly it normally used to separate Two parts of the sentence, I spoke to Linda on the Monday, she can't come to the meeting tomorrow. So we have separate this one, two words, dash. To separate a part of the sentence means to. That the car, the one with the broken windows was parked outside my house. London Edinburgh so use the pronouns properly and all in all you have to plan things well fulfill connect and vary and have a cross check please do subscribe to our channel and for more data kindly check our playlist thank you Allah Hafiz.